What's up everybody? Derek here with The Bass Factory and today we're going to be talking about scents and putting these on your plastic lures and do they really work? <laughs> These two right here alone, I've got Spike It and I've got some Gulp. I used to use some Yum back in the day. Um, there's others, there's actual sprays like Bang, which is just like a garlic. There's all kinds of them, but one of my favorites is this Spike It right here. I used to change this on some of my lures just to show that I could put this on the back and if I was in a muddy water situation with some plastics, I could put this on the back end of like a green watermelon or any kind of natural looking uh, uh, plastic and it would give it that chartreuse look on the back. It would tip the end with some of this, this chartreuse color and it says crawfish on there but when you smell it, ain't no crawfish. I mean I can smell a little bit of hint of a garlic, maybe, but that's some strong stuff. But I used to, I've got a little uh, swim bait here, just a white, just kind of for an example. But say that's the end of my plastic, I would just take the end, dip it down in there for a little bit. It doesn't take very long, this stuff dies really well. And that's what it does right there. Just tips it. And I would do that to a lot of my plastics. I don't know if it worked or not, but it sure helped my confidence because I, I used to think, oh. I'm not catching any. I need to tip my, uh, maybe I should try that trick out with some some of that spike it or, or oh I did, forgot to put some chartreuse on the end and I would do that and then I would start catching them. I don't know if that was really the case but in my mind it changed everything up for me and <clears throat> it came almost like a confidence uh, way of catching stuff but there's one thing if you're a co-angler or you're on someone else's boat and you're using this stuff you got to be extremely careful. I know they're making a remover for this stuff but if you spill this stuff it ain't gonna be good. This stuff ruins carpet and all kinds of boat seats and you don't want to spill this stuff. But there's some others out there. There's this gulp. Um, I've got another Berkeley product which is the power bait scent that's on most of the the plastics that Berkeley comes out with I know I used to use these with the power bait on the uh, some of those chunk trailers I'd put them on a jig and I would catch them like crazy but I noticed after a day or two those Berkeley plastics would dry up and that scent would be all gone and there's really no way of reactivating them those were kind of just basically done after you used them one time because they dried up. But there's Bang and some other garlic scents. There was Yum that I used to use back in the day that, that Bill Dance used to always throw on his lures it seemed like. And I, I used to watch that show all the time with Bill Dance Outdoors. But the one time that I did learn that it does work, it was, it was almost like a case or a field study you could say. Um, I was out there with a buddy and we were on a hot water lake and it was January. It was freezing. It was so cold sometimes that the rod tips on your rod would freeze up and it would start making frost as you'd reel in. It was the craziest thing. But we went into the back of some pockets and when we were first learning how to to do some bass fishing, we weren't watching Bassmaster. We were just watching some shows on the Outdoor Channel and we were picking up little tricks and tips from there. And we were basically using like what is a mojo rig or a split shot rig, but we were working it like a Carolina rig. And it was just a real light setup with spinning tackle. And we were going into the back of this, this cove where these bass were set up on beds. And I was putting this yum on my lures. I was just putting it right all the way down them tossing out just blind casting all over uh, there were some cattle that would come out there were some little fence fence lines that would come out and we were catching them all around the banks up in those shallows in the backwaters because the water was a little high and there were some trees that were back in there and I remember I was catching five to one on this one trip to what he was using and as soon as he started applying that scent to his lures he started catching them we don't know if that really affected the way that the fish were wanting it or if they were finding the bait a lot easier. It was not really clear water, but it wasn't muddy. It was right in the middle. And every time we went out there after that one trip, 
We did the same thing over and over again, and we would always catch three, four, five pounders at this place. And that's when I learned that sense really can affect the bite. And I would go out there with other friends in that same location because that's when I really started getting hooked into bass fishing, especially hook, uh, fishing on those beds like that. If you've, uh, if you've ever fished during the spawn, that is one of the most fun times and that's what got me hooked into bass fishing in the early days when I really started getting into it. And from that point on, I started applying sense to my lures and kind of like how I was talking about this spy kick, it almost became like a confidence. Um, confidence thing with me whenever I would apply it to some of my scents. I would not be catching them, put some of this on there because, the, oh, I forgot kind of a deal. Put some of this on one of my plastics or just try it again. And I would, even if it wasn't because of this, I would catch them and in my mind it would have changed everything. But I do know that this does affect the visibility of the lure in the water, especially whenever you're looking at it as you're dropping the lure down. You will lose sight of the green or, or any of the dark shades and it will bring out this chartreuse. So that may be one thing that fish are picking up on. So I don't know. It worked for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.